What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. Guys, today we are here in the heart of Business Bay at one of the hottest new properties that's just been handed over called the SLS Tower. This tower has a hotel and a residential side. So we're going to go tour the entire property and guys like every time, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and enjoy the rest of the tour. Guys, we are finally here at the SLS Tower and we are here with Mr. Bradley, James Bradley. I like to say it like that because it gives the <coughs> James Bond effect. But we are here at the SLS Tower Hotel Lobby, which is actually on the 71st floor. So first of all, guys, thank you so much, James, for doing My this pleasure. for us My and pleasure. thank you for having us. Please tell our viewers a little bit more about the SLS Tower. Okay, well, welcome to SLS. Thanks so much. As you said, we're on the 71st floor. This is actually the highest hotel lobby in the world. Wow, highest uh, in the world? Highest in the world, yeah. Wow, guys, the highest hotel lobby in the world. There's lots of wow Has to be in Dubai, yeah, has to be in Dubai. Has to be SLS. <laughs> For those of you that don't know about the SLS Group, SLS is an international hotel chain located in LA, Miami, New York, London, Argentina and the Bahamas. And SLS Dubai is the flagship product of SLS International, which is a part of the SBE Group, which is one of the largest hotel groups in the world that run over 100 hotels internationally. Most folks aren't sure about what SNS stands for. It stands for service, luxury, and style. Anyways, let's get back to the video now. So we're a 75 story building. We're four floors below the top floor. We have 360 degree views of the whole of Dubai. Wow. On a clear day, we can see from Blue Waters into Sharjah. Wow. And we can see the mountains of Hatta on that side. Wow. The mountains so, of Hatta. Yeah. Are you serious? So we can see literally 360. Everything. Oh, wow. wow. Right. From here we have 12 meter floor to ceiling heights. Feeling, when yeah. you come here, you're just like, I'm like, wait a second. I mean, I feel small <laughs> over here. We have 12 chairs, caviar and champagne bar. And then down here we have the S bar. What about the residences? Where do the residences start and where does the hotel start? Okay, so the residences start on floor 7, okay. up to 32. Okay. And the hotel is 58 to 68. Okay. And in the middle we have the hotel apartments. We have the hotel apartments, yeah. all right. So guys, we're going to be having a look at the residences towards the latter part of the video. But before that, there's just so many wow factors in this building and I want to show the viewers. First of all, can we start off by showing the viewers the view from yes. here? Because I think the views are phenomenal, guys. Have a look at this. Like literally, you get to see all of Dubai from here. From District 1, Maidan, you have Business Day over here, the entire canal. A little bit hazy today. That's your Al Khail Road running on the bottom. And literally, you can see, I think, every tower in Dubai from here. I think I could do half of my viewings just standing over here. <laughs> and pointing the towers out to people and pointing out the different communities of Dubai. Exactly. I think from that side, we'll get a better view of our Downtown right? view. So well, guys, so from here literally you see all of Business Bay, obviously Burj Khalifa, you have views of Zabil on that side as well. Literally everything, every corner of the mine, all the way in the distance you can see Sharjah as well. Here we are in the Crown. Okay. Okay. The top six floors of the building are called the Crown. Um, they start from 69, which is the CL Spa. Underneath here we have Filia, the Mediterranean restaurant. And we're here on, on level 71, which is the Sky Lobby. So we have the 12 chairs, caviar bar on the S that we've seen. Okay. Upstairs we have a meeting room floor, okay. where we can open up the whole of the side of the building for a um, wedding reception or a conference. Oh wow, We nice. have individual small rooms, okay. divisible doors, you know, for private meetings. We have the Kana Steakhouse on level 73, okay. run by a very famous Italian chef called Dario Cicchini. And then we have the Privileged Day and Night Club on level 75. Open Two. day and night? Day and night, yeah. Wow, so it's a day club. Day club and a night club. I've actually been to one of those day clubs in New York. Really cool concept. Yeah. I wasn't really much in Dubai. I mean, it's starting to come here, but really cool that we have one in this tower, guys. A day night. and night club. Day and night club, yeah. So guys, let's go upstairs and check out the Privileged Day and Night Club and have a look at the infinity pools, which are one of the highest infinity pools in the world. Wow, so guys, this is the 
day and night club, they're having a meeting over here, but I just want to show you guys how cool this place is. It looks really, really nice, and I'm really excited for this to open up very, very soon. Check this out. We're here before it's actually opened up, so remember, you saw it here first. <laughs> Little detail, the restrooms throughout the building. Men are frogs and women are ladybirds. Oh, wow. One thing also I want to bring to the attention is in the, in the residence's side, I really like the kind of artwork that they've used, which is very cool. Yeah. Wait till we get there. So this is uh, the famous SLS duck, one of them. Okay. Uh, I think it's designed by Philippe Stark, the French designer. So okay. There's different ducks in different hotels. There's one downstairs as well. We'll see a gold duck wow. by the swimming pool for the residents. So. So this is like a signature, signature SLS thing. Signature SLS. Wow, very cool. Feature. And actually guys, the views over here from the pool are phenomenal. Anyone coming here really needs to come and enjoy this pool. Uh, one of the highest infinity pools in the world, guys. And that's right, and that's right over here in Dubai. I love the fact that, you know, anyone buying a property over here at the SLS residences really gets, is really buying into the lifestyle of the SLS. You have the restaurants, you have the pool bars, you have multiple swimming pools, restaurants to lounge in, you know. I think that's what really the whole idea of buying a property over here is all about. So, this is the Filia Mediterranean restaurant. Very, very nice cool. interior. Yeah, very good vibe. One of the cool facts about this is that it's um, the kitchen is run 100% by women. So really? A woman run kitchen, yeah. Only women? Only women, yeah. Wow, very, very cool. And once again, guys, beautiful views of Dubai all around. So guys, we're going to go outside and check out the outdoor terrace of the Filia restaurant. So guys, now that you guys have seen most of the hotel facilities, we're going to go finally take you guys down to the residence side of this tower. Oh, this elevator is really, really cool. It has this, what is this, an LED screen? This is one of actually 28 elevators in the building. One of what? 28. 28 elevators in this building? Yeah, incredible. Guys, can you believe that? 28 elevators in this SLS tower. And we're traveling at 7 meters per second now. Seven meters per second. Yeah. And I really like these cool uh, screens as well. Get a shot of this. So we're right now, we're going to the ground floor. Correct. From yeah, the 71st floor. Yeah. It should take about 45 seconds. Wow, 45 seconds, guys, to get from the 71st floor down all the way down to the ground floor. So okay. this is the, um, the ground floor pre-lobby, if you like, for the okay. hotel, the food and beverage, the nightclub, the spa. <clears throat> and now we'll go into the residence. And I really like this, by the way. Yeah, it's the SLS logo. Um, okay. Fortune favors the bold. Okay. You see the Greek god Midas in yeah. either corner. All right. You know, everything he touched turned to gold, including, oh. including his daughter, who he eventually killed. Oh, um, yeah. But the gold theme, you see it in the carpet, runs throughout. Yeah. So there's a lot of gold and copper in, in, the, um, in the building, in the design. I've yeah. seen a lot of people come over here and take their Instagram photos over here. So yeah. James and I are going to do the same thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've done the Instagram photo, <laughs> let's go check out the residence's lobby. So you have separate valet for the hotel and separate valet for the residence, For the residence, right? yeah. And then, then we have what are these? Kind of post boxes for communications and stuff. Okay, for very each, nice. each apartment. One thing that really gets my attention is this art installation right over here. That's like my painting of my wife loving her Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> so these are the residence elevators. Oh, more, another more, interesting art installation yeah. here. Artwork with a twist, Napoleon with a monkey. So we're on floor six and have more unique artwork here. I think the artwork over here is gonna keep the uh, her residents entertained. Check this out as well. So we have four pools up here. We have a children's pool at the end, the leisure pool, and we have a sunbed pool with jacuzzi. Okay. And then the lap pool for those who want to exercise, 25 meter lap pool. Wow, very nice. The orientation is great because the sun rises over there, it sets over there, so we have sun pretty much all day long. This is a vitamin bar, so okay. they'll be serving fruit cocktails and things. This is only for the residents, huh? Yeah. Okay, so now I'll show you guys the changing area with the sauna, the steam room, the fitness area. Alright. Okay, so here we are in the fitness center. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big size for a residence. Wow, yeah. it goes all the way up down from there. The equipment is Techno Gym. We have a large area down here for aerobics. And you have the weights section, the, weights, the treadmills here. That's so. the, the wackiest bit of artwork in the building, I think. Let's <laughs> check this out. That's Darth Vader. It's probably Louis XIV or someone has that. 
I need to get one of these in my office. <laughs> So guys, now that you guys have seen the hotel, the hotel facilities, the amenities at the residences, it's finally time to take you guys upstairs and have a look at the apartments. Here we are on floor 32, the highest floor of the residence. Each floor has 25 apartments and the configuration is, um, we have two two beds down this end looking over Maidan. Okay. Two two beds looking over um, downtown that end. And I even like the fact that, you know, it's all wallpaper exactly. throughout. Very nice stone finish on the ground. So if you see guys, there's a light panel on all the doors, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice with the black and the brown, so it's sort of nice contrasting. Okay, so now I'll show you the one bed duplex. So this is our show apartment. And yeah, we can see here, this is the minimum floor height now, which is 3.1 meters. This wow. actually makes it feel, uh, feel, feel a, lot, a lot larger, yeah, yeah, a lot bigger. The apartments come unfurnished with the kitchen's fully fitted. In terms of finishings, it's all high-end European brands. These doors are Schuko, which is the best German brand. Okay. Very expensive doors. The glass is from France, saint Gobain. Very soundproof, I must say, because yeah. we, were, we, we were right by so the major roads in Dubai, like Al Khail and stuff, and I can't hear Correct, a yeah. single car. It's kind of it's drop and slide system. So it, okay. once, once you slide, it drops into place. It's dust dust proof and soundproof. We have Italian ceramic tiling on the floor. In the kitchen here, this is um, an antibacterial material called Creon from Spain. All the taps are Jesse from Italy. The white goods are Electrolux. So you have your hob and your oven. You have an extractor hood there, and then you have your fridge and your freezer here. All the handles are very expensive German handles. It's all high-end European stuff. And then in the powder room here, the sanitary equipment is Vida and Bosch on both floors. And we have a laundry area. So here we have a washer-dryer. And then, we, you know, massive terrace, as you can see. Can you go out and yeah. step on the terrace? You can have, you know, 15, 20 people sitting out here. Wow, and these views are just phenomenal. From here we have a Burj Khalifa view as well. And because the building's built on four axes at 45 degrees, okay. you have privacy on your balconies. You haven't got neighbors on your left or your right. Wow, okay, yeah, and that's one right. One neighbor's there and one neighbor's there. So I feel like you're on your own. You know, seven meters up to the next balcony. So that's the balcony for the master bedroom, right? This, exactly, yes. Okay. And then up, up above, you've got the balcony, the apartment above. Wow, 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 very nice. Hey guys, beautiful views. I mean, yeah. I think one of the best skyline views that you can get in Dubai because you're at a decent distance from the Burj Khalifa. So you get a beautiful sort of skyline view of the entire uh, business bay and downtown. Yeah, very cool. So here we are in the bedroom. Again, 3.1 meter floor ceiling height with its own private balcony, double vanity bathroom. And then a couple of interesting features. The mirror here is anti-steam, so it doesn't fog up with hot water. And then in the shower here, we um, put the tap here, which is quite clever. Clever idea, because you put the water on, you test it to get the right temperature, and then you get into the shower. The tap's not underneath the rain shower. Now that you guys have seen the um, duplex, I'll show you the loft. All right. This is a special thing over here. Yeah. Here we have the seven meter floor to ceiling height. Wow. And these chandeliers come for all the lofts, right? For all the lofts, the chandeliers and the curtains, the drapes. Okay, yeah, I mean, it'd be hard to get drapes of this size. <laughs> exactly. So what's the size and configuration of this apartment? It's approximately 1,150 square feet. Do all the lofts come with a balcony? Yes. So I really like this cool looking staircase. Yeah, floating this. wooden staircase, yeah. Floating wooden staircase with the glass panels on the side, very nice, very modern and I like the fact that it's backlit as well. And this decorative roof comes as is in all as the apartments. Is, yeah, with the recessed lighting and everything. Yeah. Guys, let's take you guys upstairs and have a look at the bedroom. So here we have the bedroom area. We can control the uh, the drapes and the lights from either side of the bedroom. Okay. Uh, American system called Lutron. Wow. So that controls everything in, in your apartment. Very nice. Let's try doing that. Yeah. Let's try. Open the blind. Oh, nice. Yes, automatic. Get out of bed, open your blind curtain. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so you have the walk-in closet here and the bathroom here as well, right? So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this beautiful SLS tower. Thank you, James, for showing us around. My pleasure. Great to see you. Thank you so much. And guys, for more information, check out the description below. And like every time, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until I see you guys next time for another great video. Great. Okay, so now I'll show you the, um, the changing areas. And this is sauna and steam room and right. the fitness center. All right, cool. Do you want to do that again? Because I, I yeah. stuttered a bit. Yeah, sure.
Okay, great. So now um, I'll show you guys the sauna and steam room, the changing area. I'm oh, sorry, then. Good, 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 good. Right from the door. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I'll show you guys the. Um, the... <laughs> great start. <laughs>